Welcome to Pet Pals TV. Oh, it's so nice to be here on happy our holiday. happy holiday edition. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And here we are. You're probably wondering, why are we standing out in the middle of a parking lot? Because and we go to three people <laughs> on their show, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? There are a lot of questions people have. A lot of questions, a lot of answers. We're at the Indianapolis Zoo. This is a world-class zoo. A lot going on here and a fine tradition as well. So, Paul, why don't you talk to John about that? John Glessing is with the Public Relations Department here, and we're in Indianapolis because this zoo did something that no other zoo had done before around the holidays. Yes, this is Christmas at the zoo. It's our 45th year. We were the first zoo in the United States to have a dedicated annual lights program. So 45 years later, here we are. Lots of kids. Oh gosh, Kids, yes. kids and treats. It's such a transformation this time of year. When the sun goes down, the lights come on, and you sometimes don't even know you're at the zoo. It's such a different look here uh -huh. at night than it is during the day. A lot of great animals this time of year really like this kind of weather polar bears, right. brown bears, tigers. We want to draw attention to some of the wonderful things here at this world-class zoo. Dolphin exhibit, mm -hmm. wonderful. Dolphins, sea lions, walrus. We're one of the few uh, zoos in the in the United States that have a walrus exhibit. Amur tigers. Uh, th there's, gosh, 2,000 or so animals here at the Indianapolis Zoo. And coming in 2014 is the uh, orangutan. The exhibit. International Orangutan Center. So it is a $30 million exhibit, unlike anything in any zoo in the United States. We can't wait. So in May. I'm so excited. I am excited. Yeah, it sounds like you're excited. <laughs> <laughs> you're shivering oh, with excitement. I'm shivering too. Okay, I'm maybe so. a little chilly as we're okay. uh, recording this. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for uh, joining us and uh, the hospitality here today at the zoo. Oh, thank you very much for having for coming. Recently at my house, Dr. Kathy, our holistic vet, mm -hmm. came over and she did some adjusting for him and some acupuncture because getting getting a little old. Oh, I know the feeling. <laughs> I didn't mean to look at you. Getting a little old, and he needs he needs a little bit of help. So here's Dr. Kathy with acupuncture and Louie. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy here with Louie today. We're going to try some acupuncture. As many of you know, Louie has been having some weakness in his hind end. I have his constitution, which is that he's earth, he's mellow, he's laid back, he's yin deficient, he's always warm and looking to cool off, and now we have kidney chi deficiency. So these tell me the points that I need to address in order to try to help. Often people want to know how many needles are I going to use. On Louie, who I've treated before, I'm probably going to put in 20 acupuncture needles, possibly up to 30. If this were my very first time seeing him, if he were really old and debilitated or super young, like a parvo puppy, I'd probably only use two or three needles. When you see the acupuncture stimulating Louie, you can see the flesh moving and people think, oh, it hurts. And sometimes when you put in a needle, they go, oh, like they felt something. If you've ever had acupuncture yourself, it's not that it really hurts, is that you've stimulated a nerve. And so it's zingy. Every acupuncture point has three purposes. One, if you look where the needle is, right there where that needle is, it will have a local effect right there. Where every needle is, it has a distant relationship to another organ. Traditional acupuncturists, when they put in a needle, they stimulate the chi by moving the needle. They'll spin it, they'll move it up and down. The really good acupuncturists ended up with a lot of arthritis in their hands from constantly moving these tiny little needles. Someone in the last 30 or 40 years used their genius and came up with the idea of electroacupuncture. It's a very low currency unit. I have picked some kidney points on his back legs that help with his yin deficiency. You remember he's always looking to cool off and it's kidney so it addresses that system and it helps to add fluid and moisture to the body. So we're gonna sit here for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go through three different settings on the electroacupuncture unit. And when it's done, we're at least gonna have a man who has some beta endorphins floating around and he's gonna feel pretty good and go out and play with Mabel. If you have any questions about traditional Chinese veterinary medicine or anything else, you can contact me, Dr. Kathy, at Pet Pals TV. Thank you. 
Getting kisses from your best friend shouldn't be a head-turning experience. Unfortunately, more than 80% of adult pets suffer from untreated dental disease. At NOAA's Animal Hospitals, our team can show you the importance of your pet's dental care. From complete oral health assessments and digital dental x-rays to a full line of at-home care products, we will help you put the sparkle back in your pet's smile. With eight Central Indiana locations, there's a Noah's nearby ready to be the best friend of your best friend. Oh boy, it's my favorite commercial. I just love Mr. Buck. You could say I'm his biggest fan. Mr. Buck was a rescue dog just like me, and he's the sole inspiration for my favorite food. Mr. Buck's genuinely good pet food. It's natural, holistic, 100% made in the USA, and oh, so delicious too. Mr. Buck's comes in a variety of flavors to satisfy every taste. He's available dry or in cans, and a portion of every sale is donated to local animal shelters. Available at Mars Supermarkets and Paw Stop Pet Store. The Milano Inn, proudly serving Indianapolis since 1934. Thanks for making our summertime fundraiser, Pasta for Puppies, another huge success. Hi, I'm Gina Lagrada, owner of the Milano Inn. You helped us raise thousands of dollars for local area animal shelters, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now we invite you inside to enjoy the finest Italian restaurant in Indiana, and then we'll see you back on the patio with your puppies this spring. It's still hard to believe Oliver just ran away. Why take the chance? Invisible Fence Brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. Bed and Biscuit, send your dog on vacation. Indoor and outdoor kennels in a country setting, daycare or long term. 867-BONE, online, bedandbiscuit.us. Bed and Biscuit, where a dog can be a dog. Uh, I fooled you. It's not really me, me making that noise. I can't even make my own noise. My lips are, are so cold. But uh, Abby Mingus from the Indianapolis Zoo is here to tell us about somebody who's right at home, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, our California sea lions and seals love this weather. It's kind of drippy and wet out here this afternoon, but it's perfect for these guys. Um, they are aquatic animals, so they spend most of their day cruising around in the water. So they're used to being wet, and they've got a nice layer of blubber to keep them warm and some fur, too. So who is that that we were hearing right at the very beginning? That is one of our big guys, Ray. Ray came to us in 2012. He was actually a stranded animal. He was uh, injured by uh, some gunshot wounds actually to his head and face area. So he's only got one eye, but what he can't see, he makes up for in talking all day <laughs> to everybody else. Clearly, I think we've heard that. Now, which one is which? Who's on the uh, on top of the, the, the heap? guy up there, that's Diego. That's our large male. He was actually born here at the zoo. <laughs> And even though he's much bigger than Ray, who's on the front moat here working with Elise, uh, Ray kind of has him outmatched as far as dominance go. He's the, the big man. So on they, don't, they don't quite get along, no, right? They're not very best friends, no. They, they keep their distance, but they, they each have their happy places in the environment where they can go and chill out. <laughs> And we've got some supporting uh, players yeah, here in the background, too. Our, our lovely ladies. There's Marcy on the back there. That's actually Diego's mom. You can see he's much larger than her. And then Hyde is one of our adult females up here in the front. Yeah, they seem like a happy group. They are a happy crew. Even though it's a little chilly outside. Yes, yes it is, definitely. <laughs> they snuggle up, though, in the winter. I don't think that like fish is going to make it worthwhile for me to stay out here, <laughs> no just way. between you and me. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Thank you very much You're for being with welcome. us on Pet Thanks for coming back outside the Indianapolis Zoo, and we have a story that comes to us from Terre Haute. It is a fitting tribute to a new pet in this family. Guess what? They got a zebra. Out in the rural parts of Indiana and Illinois, it's not rare to see a cow, a pig, or even an occasional donkey. But just outside of Jasonville, Indiana, there's a man who's got a pet that's, well, one of a kind. Growing up in Indiana, uh, we we had pigs and cows and everything else like that. And back then, you know, if you're a kid and made to take care of them, you don't want to take care of them. But as you get older, you kind of miss that and want to get back to to nature. Planted in the heart of nature, among the fall foliage, is exactly where you'll find Brad Dickerson <laughs> strolling alongside his pets. But maybe that's not an accurate word. His livestock are more of a family. They all have names. Uh, most of them all know their names and. They're spoiled, they'll, eat, they'll follow you around the field, eat treats, and yeah, they know who they are. The family started with these two. My wife uh, seen a picture of uh, baby donkeys, baby miniature donkeys in a magazine, and then we found these two up by um, Brazil. 
and quickly grew. Uh, the neighbor alerted us a couple of years ago, so we picked up a couple of rescue donkeys that weren't, weren't being taken care of, and we brought them in, and, and they live here now. It's kind of like an assisted living home for them. And then uh, as time goes by, we, we have some alpacas and four sheep and uh, one goat. Everybody's got to have a goat in Indiana. It's just a rule. But the family barn wasn't built until Brad welcomed the newest member to the family. Meet Zahara. A few months ago, we've had, we've had our baby zebra. He's uh, seven months old. We've had him for four, four and a half months. And he came from northern Wisconsin. The striped roamer of the African continent is right at home on the Dickerson Ranch. Welcomed by his siblings and even given his own room. You might say the Dr. Doolittle family is complete. But then, that wouldn't be like the Dickersons at all. The plan is to, um, we have three female donkeys. And the plan is to, uh, when he's ready, to have some z donks. In some families, having a pet completes the home, but at the Dickerson house, it's the addition of pets that keeps the family growing. In Jasonville with photojournalist Gary Bryan, I'm Matt Gregory, News 10. Working in TV, I've met and interviewed celebrities on the red carpet and other well-known people. I'm very comfortable in front of the camera. It's the telephone that was intimidating. Because of my hearing loss, I couldn't hear well on a regular phone. Hello? Now with my Captel phone, I'm making contacts in a busy world. My Captel phone allows me to read what the other person is saying. Try a Captel phone. It makes all the difference when you see what you're hearing. Applying for Social Security Disability Benefits? Or have you been denied need to appeal? We can help. There's no fee unless we win the case for you, and we've been serving Central Indiana's legal needs since 1972. Please call us at 844-1377. Plan your escape with Classic Escapes. Classic Escapes excels at creating personalized itineraries for you and your family. We take you off the beaten track to exciting locations around the world. Call us today, 800-627-1244. Classic Escapes, taking pride in creating the perfect travel package for you. Call 800-627-1244 or visit our website, Classic Escapes, nature and cultural journeys for the discerning traveler. It's Toyotathon time at 96 The Keystone, Butler Toyota. Save thousands, get a lower payment, and get more for your trade-in. Nicely equipped, new RAV4s, just $149 a month. Over 5,000 vehicles online at butlerauto.com, or come see us at 96 The Keystone, Butler Toyota. Getting kisses from your best friend shouldn't be a head-turning experience. Unfortunately, more than 80% of adult pets suffer from untreated dental disease. At NOAA's Animal Hospitals, our team can show you the importance of your pet's dental care. From complete oral health assessments and digital dental x-rays to a full line of at-home care products, we will help you put the sparkle back in your pet's smile. With eight Central Indiana locations, there's a NOAA's nearby ready to be the best friend of your best friend. Anybody associated with Dr. Thomas knows about good pet health, too. Uh, Dr. Thomas, Dr. Mike Thomas, eight Noah's Animal Hospitals around Indiana. And here's his story and how he started out with his love of pets. What we got here? Success is measured in many ways. He's already had his little treatment. For veterinarian Dr. Mike Thomas, owning and running eight Indiana animal hospitals looks to be pretty successful. And one, the flagship clinic, is open 24-7. That's a huge responsibility. This hospital was acquired in uh, 1982 uh, from a retiring veterinarian. And uh, it, at that time, was kind of a very quiet uh, one-doctor practice. For this soft-spoken gentleman, success is also measured by uh -huh. doing what he loves. He grew up on a farm and thought he wanted to tend to larger farm animals at one time, but drifted toward helping people with smaller companion animals. He says he enjoys working with people to find the best care for their animals while considering their lifestyle and finances, too. No two pet owners are alike. He encourages honest dialogue between his vets and pet people. When I first got out of school, we used to see so many Yorkies in Chicago where I worked, uh -huh. and they're their teeth were just terrible. Oh, yeah. He works hard and is a hands-on owner and manager. The word retire is not in his vocabulary. People ask me why I don't play more golf and, and have more fun. Well, I enjoy uh, and have enjoyed for all these years uh, taking care of, uh, of pets and trying to put bones back together that, uh, that were broken and 
So I was, I'm just lucky. I'm just, I've been very, very lucky. Dr. Thomas is assisted by a willing companion and business partner in his wife, Crystal. She oversees all the marketing for Noah's and is hands-on, visiting and engaging in every aspect of the operation. So what are you going to do for the next 50 years? For the next 50 years? <laughs> uh, well, uh, it will probably be more of the same for a while. Uh, and I enjoy watching young people grow, young veterinarians. And as you know, we've got some great young veterinarians in our organization. And uh, so over time, I think you know, more and more, I'll, I'll turn the reins over to them. And um, I do enjoy uh, things outside of the profession. I love boating and, and I love being outdoors. And so and I get to do some of that and I hope to do a little bit more. Well, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's an enjoyable profession and I'm incredibly lucky, as I've said probably many times. Thank you. And you're having a great time too. I am actually. Dr. Mike Thomas says he's a lucky man, but we suggest his clients and the critters he serves are pretty lucky too. Plan your escape with Classic Escapes. Classic Escapes excels at creating personalized itineraries for you and your family. We take you off the beaten track to exciting locations around the world. Call us today, 800-627-1244. Classic Escapes, taking pride in creating the perfect travel package for you. Call 800-627-1244 or visit our website. Classic Escapes, nature and cultural journeys for the discerning traveler. Oh boy, it's my favorite commercial. I just love Mr. Buck. You could say I'm his biggest fan. Mr. Buck was a rescue dog just like me, and he's the sole inspiration for my favorite food. Mr. Buck's genuinely good pet food. It's natural, holistic, 100% made in the USA, and oh, so delicious too. Mr. Buck's comes in a variety of flavors to satisfy every taste. He's available dry or in cans, and a portion of every sale is donated to local animal shelters. Available at Mars Supermarkets and Paw Stop Pet Store. At Rose Pet Memorial Center, we understand your emotions when dealing with the loss of a pet. We'll help you come up with the best way to memorialize your beloved family member. Rose Pet Memorial Center offers a variety of options, from a burial to cremation, and services from a final wake to a eulogy with friends. Call us and do the thoughtful thing in planning ahead. When it's time to say goodbye, we're here for you. Rose Pet Memorial Center. Charlie always waited faithfully for you, but now that he's lost, it's you waiting for him. Put your mind at ease. Invisible Fence brand keeps tails wagging safely in the yard and off the streets. Join me and Paul as we venture north to Alaska for a trip of a lifetime, Iditarod. Contact Classic Escapes before December 24th and save $300. Put on your boots February 26th through March 4th. Mush! And Pet Pals continues from the World Class Indianapolis Zoo in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're here with Ellen Dreska, who is uh, very familiar with the with the young lady that we see behind us. Now, tell us about this uh, this brown bear here. Yep, this is a Kiak. She's actually an Alaskan brown bear. So, with weather like this, she's right <laughs> at home. Man, I tell you what, we've got some sleet as we're doing this in a very cold rain. We, Patty and I, and the Pet Pals crew, we're going to go to Alaska in a few months with Plastic Escapes, and we're going to uh, do the Iditarod. So maybe we'll see like a sister or a brother somewhere? Yeah, absolutely. One of her cousins, at least. So she doesn't <laughs> mind this kind of weather at all? No, she is loving this kind of weather. Actually, you can see she's up and active, which is more than you see in the summertime. They're usually sleeping in the shade, um, but they're built for this. They have their winter hair, their winter coat going on right now. Um, <laughs> bulked up with their winter weight. They're eating about, oh, about 24 to 25 pounds of food daily. 25 pounds a day? <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> and when when she wants a light snack, is that is that the reason for yeah, the melon here? Just a little light snack, them some little afternoon snacks for her, just a cantaloupe. Should I should I duck and you know maybe you are you gonna sure. do, are you gonna do toss salad? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> see what the, the old mare got in her arm. Okay, well hang on just a second here. Let me let me move away. Okay. The wind up and the pitch and <laughs> and you can see she goes right after it. In the summertime she'd be like yeah, but now at this time of year they have their hungries packing that winter weight on, so she's 
digging right into it. You have a hot cup of coffee you could throw at me? <laughs> <laughs> we'll hook you up. <laughs> Ellen, thanks very much for joining us on this uh, special edition of Pet Pals. We appreciate it. You're welcome. You guys have a good day. And Pet Pals continues right now. Now we've, we've seen you know, a, a, a bear in its element, a story from Aaron Murphy about a dog in its element. We have cold weather, we have snow, and we have a lot of good people, but we also have New Finland's, and they're being put to work for a good cause, and they're loving it. Uh, how many dogs do you have? Um, I have three of them here today, but I have a total of five New Finland's. Why New Finland's? Um, I just love the breed. They're, they're real calm and laid back. Um, they fit my personality more than my wife. What do you think would surprise people about this breed? Um, I would say probably just how gentle they are, even though they're big. They're, they're very calm. He loves this time of year when the breed takes part in that family tradition of cutting down Christmas trees. Hauling a freshly cut tree would seem like hard work, but for these newfies, it's far from a chore. The purpose of this breed was actually a working dog to work alongside people, whether to pull in fishing nets, whether to pull carts. They also evolved into a water rescue dog, so you'll know a lot of old boats would carry them on transatlantic or other trips. So if someone went overboard, the dog, they're powerful swimmers, the dogs would swim out, bring the, dog, the people in. Do you think that people find it cruel or explain how much the dogs really enjoy doing what they're doing here? I don't think people find it cruel. The dogs working out here love to work. Dogs love to please. They want to please. And so these dogs, they all, the ones pulling are like, I love doing this. We've all trained our dogs to do this. Some are doing it for the first time, and you would never tell them from the people that are really have trained and have worked their dogs to do it. The dogs like to have a job, and I think you'll find that with any breed, whether it's a golden retriever or Newfoundland, they like to work, they like to please. I just love Newfies. <laughs> The breed is known for their hard work, love of children, tolerance of cold weather, but watch out for the drool. Um, but it's just great. Newfie Rescue is a great organization, and we just we love to support them and get to love on the dogs and get a great treat. Can you tell how much the dogs really enjoy pulling? Oh, they love it. This is this is what they were bred to do, and they love all the attention. As you can see, there's a lot of dogs working and they're loving it, but know your breed and this is a working breed. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Erin Murphy. Getting kisses from your best friend shouldn't be a head-turning experience. Unfortunately, more than 80% of adult pets suffer from untreated dental disease. At NOAA's Animal Hospitals, our team can show you the importance of your pet's dental care. From complete oral health assessments and digital dental x-rays to a full line of at-home care products, we will help you put the sparkle back in your pet's smile. With eight Central Indiana locations, there's a NOAA's nearby ready to be the best friend of your best friend. Hello, Dad? It's been a long time. Really sorry about that. I couldn't hear you over the phone, so I stopped using it. How are you able to call me now? It's this new phone. Caption Telephone Service uses voice recognition technology to show captions of everything your caller says. Before CapTel, I missed too much, including you. Learn more at CapTelOffer.com. Join me and Paul as we venture north to Alaska for a trip of a lifetime, Iditarod. Contact Classic Escapes before December 24th and save $300. Put on your boots February 26th through March 4th. Mush! Bed and Biscuit, send your dog on vacation. Indoor and outdoor kennels in a country setting, daycare or long term. 867-BONE, online, bedandbiscuit.us. Bed and Biscuit, where a dog can be a dog. It's Toyotathon time at 96 The Keystone, Butler Toyota. Save thousands, get a lower payment, and get more for your trade-in. New 2014 Corollas, just $99 a month. Over 5,000 vehicles online at butlerauto.com, or come see us at 96 The Keystone, Butler Toyota. Applying for Social Security Disability Benefits, or have you been denied need to appeal? We can help. There's no fee unless we win the case for you, and we've been serving Central Indiana's legal needs since 1972. Please call us at 844-1377. 
back outside the Indianapolis Zoo. It's the time of the season for an inspirational story, and Tabitha Starcher, producer reporter, has just the thing for us, a young girl and her dog. Yes, it's a story out of Ohio. It's getting national attention, including on ESPN. This little girl runs high school track, one of the first in the country to do it with an eye-seeing dog. Oh, here's the story. This is what we see, and this is what Sammy sees. I have what's called Stargardt's disease. It's a child form of macular degeneration. So it's supposed to happen over time and it's hereditary. So I was born with it, but it didn't go into effect until I was in like the end of my seventh, beginning of eighth grade year. So from there, it really dropped pretty rapidly. It really affects the central vision. So in the middle, it's very, very blurry and I mostly see shapes and objects. I don't really see too many details. Um, within my vision, I'm considered legally blind. One of my first reactions was just thinking about all the things I wouldn't be able to do. Everything from driving to career options being cut down to, you know, how are my friends going to react to it. But then after that initial shock, I think I kind of moved on to all right, how am I gonna get around this? I can tell you it was kind of a scary time when she came home and said, I think I'm gonna keep running cross country. And we're thinking to each other, how will that ever, you know, how will you ever do that? Um, she found ways to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, she said, I could probably run with my dog. And, you know, we were like, well, I don't know, maybe the dog can't, won't want to run, but um, Chloe's taken to it. Originally, I mean, it was it was quite a lengthy process from start to finish for her to get approval to receive a pilot dog, and then her going and getting the training the summer before her junior year, and then the last approval was for her to be able to compete with Chloe in official meets. She was the, you know, the first one to ever do this to be approved to race with a pilot dog. Um, at the big meets, you know, the finish line, watching the athletes come in, just a tremendous amount of support. So we're talking, you know, all, all the fans, not just our team, but all the schools. For the safety of everyone, Sammy and Chloe are held back for a full minute and given the time back at the end of the race. But even with that separation, this team often the competition. I can't thank our school and all everyone in there, our friends and everyone for just being so accepting of Chloe and just treating her like another member of the team and just another student in class who happens to be laying on the floor and snoring but she's just everyone's been so incredibly nice and I think everyone just loves her. <laughs> As we look at some photos, I want to know where did you get that hat? <laughs> can I get one of those? Somewhere? Well, it, I, I can't remember where I got it, but you can tell I really need it this time of year. Oh, all right. Well, you know, a lot Whoa. of body heat is lost through the, uh, you know, top of the head. I just, okay, yeah. with that, uh, <laughs> I love it. With that, we'll see you next time on. Are you looking at me to do something next? <laughs> no, this, I know yours is real. This it's stays okay. clipped on, and we'll see you on Pet, Pet Pals, Pals TV. TV.